Hello, my name is Julia Onel and I'm a naturalist at Walter B. Jacobs Memorial Nature Park, which is one of Caddo Parish Parks. Welcome to an introduction to acrylic painting program. We're going to paint on wood today. You can buy this from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They sell in, uh, in bags with different shapes, circle, square, oval. And uh, we're going to paint Blue Jay. Blue Jay has three colors, black, titanium white, and blue. I'm going to use Prussian blue. And for the background, we're going to use sap green. I put all my paints on my palette and as usual I draw a few sketches so I won't have to worry about ruining my wood. So I think I think kind of this is kind of uh, after I do the practice like that I draw a sketch on the wood which is uh, just a basic outline And the brushes we're going to be using are liner, uh, filbert 8, and filbert 2. Since it's a very small area uh, that we're going to be painting, we don't have to use big brushes for these. Okay, let's begin painting. I will start with the background. I like painting the back because when I do the feathers etc at the edges uh, then it is very difficult to paint the background because then I will have to do the details feathers at the end at the edges again. This way I will have some base and uh, I can go over in corners. I'm going to paint the whole thing for, with white, first of all. Just with white. Blue jays are very intelligent birds. They mate for life. They have a very complicated social behavior. They will help each other. In fact, I have seen a blue jay, a couple of blue jays, rescue a dove from a hawk at Cypress Park. They badgered the hawk until it let the bird go. I'm going to start with light blue, then I will darken the parts that are, that needs to get darker. But first, I'm just putting the basic colors to the parts and then I will start doing the details. Now I'm going to paint, start painting the details with darker blue. These are the edges. I'm using just blue without adding anything to that Persian blue. This part of the wing is darker. Let's do the shadows. This is a little bit lighter on this side with a little bit of white. I'm going to do the face which is white. Pure white, nothing is added to this white right now. And then we're going to have to add some black to make the shadows. With the liner, I'm using the liner right now. I'm going to put the 
beak and the eyes with black, just black. I will draw the beak first. The blue jay is an omnivore. It eats both seeds, peanuts, etc. and berries. So its beak is for mixed. It's always good to uh, start beaks thinner. Start thinner. It's easier to make them bigger. And then they have black. Uh, you know the uh, blue jays have a crest and when their crest is up they are aggressive. When it is down they are submissive. I want to make it a little bit darker but it's too dark now. I'm gonna Blue jays are native to North America. This this kind. There are different kinds. This is. They are everywhere. Uh, in the Western states, they can be migrate migrative, but migratory. But uh, here in our area, they are not migratory. Okay, now I'm going to do the details with the wing. So, there are darker and lighter parts of blue to the wing. Let me put the, let's put the whites first, so we don't uh, darken their area. Okay, there is a row of whites right here. On the this is going to be kind of like on each wing, so if you, I mean each feather, not each wing, each feather on the wing. So it's, it, this is really bright white. After it dries, I will go over with white again. So this is the really, really white. And in the middle feathers that goes towards the tail before it disappears. So we know where the whites are. Now I'm going to do the black. These are, I'm going to do the blacks with really just black, nothing added. is in the tail. The tip of the tail and the tip of the feathers on the wing is kind of black. So I'm just putting there. I'm trying to make feathers a little bit visible. It is a very small painting but uh, still you can make if you paint these blacks one by one you can because they're on each feather let's make the eyes a little bit shiny I'm gonna make these white feathers whiter because they're really really nicely white so I'm going over with whites again to make the whites really vibrant. I'm trying to pay, make this uh, this here to, towards the crest uh, a little bit gradual passage from white to blue. I'm just blending in with shades, nothing really. And here. Let's put 
the light into the eyes just a tad one spot of white in a corner it will make it look like a shadow or light hitting the eye and again the beak is a little bit shiny in the picture let's do the dark top part grayer because the light is hitting from the above obviously here in the picture and there's a nostril there they have a black patch between their eyes This beak is not doing what I want it to do. So I'm just gonna work on it. Okay, the beak. The beak got too big. I don't want the beak to be this weak big. I'm gonna paint it with white to make it narrower and then I'm gonna brush it with blue and with green this is the size of the beak i wanted <laughs> i'm going to leave it like that and paint the other part with green this part so you guys won't get confused see it's very easy to create any mess up and since the background is supposed to be trees, there are shadows and lights, so it doesn't have to, oops, I have to wait until this black dries. Okay, let's do the let's do this branch and its feet is gray, its legs are gray. Let's make the legs first. They kind of come. This is feet. They kind of come from underneath these feathers. I'm making it kind of like a few leaves here and there since it is sitting on a branch. I made my branch with gray. You can do it with. Uh, I'm going to add some light blues on this uh, wing between those blacks and uh, whites. There are some very light blues, so let's do those now since that part is dry. Between the blacks, there are very light blues. They are not whites, they are very light blues. I'm just making the blue parts light, very light blue. Okay. Uh, I'm going to now create around, you know, paint over around the beak because that black kind of bled over my green. I'm going to use my filbert. This number two filbert to paint, you know, to give some activity to the back, you know, lighter and darker greens i like that because i don't want i don't like it all the same tone of green it's supposed to be shadows i think it is over thank you for joining me with another acrylic painting program. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.